Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be making a low poly stylized shield. This is uh, probably the first time we, uh, we are making a stylized uh, or anything stylized uh, in my channel. So let's get started. Let's uh, delete the default cube. Alright and now you can uh, take a cylinder then uh, go to the bottom left and you can reduce the vertices. Uh, just around there I assume like that and then you can press S and Z then you can press R Z and 19 R X and 90 and R Z and 90 there we go you can press S and X again and then G and Z to move it up a bit there we go there you got a low poly base I guess and now you can go to face selection mode select both of these faces and go to individual origins now you can press on I and there we go and then you can press select these and you can press E to extrude just move your mouse just like so then you can press S and X there we go and from here you can press I to about there and then you can press E to extrude and S to scale E to extrude S to scale and E and S and then E to extrude S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale. There we go, just one more time. And here you can press S, Z, and 0, and S, Y, and 0. There we go. And then you can go to vertex select mode, press A, M, and by distance. Now these are one vertices. Then you can move this one down, just like so. Then you can shade smooth. And I'll go to normals and select auto smooth. There we have it. Uh, back here, if you want, you can make a handle for the. You can make just a simple handle if you want. Yeah, that that would work. There we go. And now you can select and then these two over here, these two over here. There we go, and you can select uh, these just like that. All right, and there we have it. Then you can uh, press E and S to extrude them. Uh, just a little bit, there we go. And then you can go to axis and go press Z and go to wireframe. You can go to line select mode. Select this and just move these until you don't see the gray part. And that's where they're overlapping. All right, there we go. Now you have your basic shield if you want, and you can go to the Z axis, go to vertex select mode, and then you can bring it forward a bit. Go to uh, enable proportional editing, just make it go a bit forward, just like so. Now it's bending a bit, and now you can select individual parts. Uh, so select this one and this one back here, and press P and selection and then press these select these just like so i'm holding alt and uh, shift to select multiple and there we go all right and after you have done that uh, you can go ahead and uh, check uh, if any face is flipped or anything so go over here and say go to face orientation and make sure that everything is uh, blue if you find a vertice if you find something that is uh, red like this one then you can either press alt n and click on flip or if you find multiple uh, like so and you don't want to flip them individually then you can press a Alt N and recalculate out. All right, and what you can do now is unwrap it. So uh, go off face selection, go to material preview, select this, go to uh, select new and base color and a new image texture. Then you can go to 4060, 4060, and instead of blank, you choose UV grid. There you go. Now you can press A, U, and smart UV project. You can do the same over here. Select the image texture new, you don't have to name it, and smart UV 
project and same here new base color image new and you pursue and smart you go now you can select it uh, go to file export fbx and uh, name it shield 1.2 selected objects and then you can go over to substance painter all right now you can go to re uh, press new and then select your file uh, 1.2 here we go and then click on ok uh, and here you have your shield now uh, before doing anything you go to texture set settings and then you can click on uh, bake mesh maps you can untick the id make the ambient occlusion to 256 and half the min occluder and with this one then you can bake selected mesh right here we go you don't have to worry about uh, this uh, right now and now what you can do is uh, go to wood if you have one then you can apply this one if you want this is our stylized wood let's see how this looks yeah this looks all right yeah, so you can use that one and then for the paths you can go to plastic select this plastic matte and you can cl click it on there and then for color I will be using this so just have this color and then there we go and then you can click on copy and then click on paste and here you can make this a bit lighter so around there and then uh, you can click on this uh, double the right click and then click on add white mask then click on and ge add generator and then select the curvature there you go you can mess with the global balance if you want to uh, just like so and then you can do the same so just copy these uh, uh, let me copy these copy layers and just uh, select this one and click on paste layers and then you can change the color like so and you can make this one a bit white there we go and then you can add, add generator and make the global effect to your liking there you have it and there you have your shield ladies and gentlemen now you can go over to mode and then render this out if you want and as you can see that part uh, goes away when you render so it's fine you can click on clear ground and you want then you can remove the ground and then you can make this a bit yellow if you want to you can override the resolution to 1080 if you want and just change uh, background let me have like uh, a bit yellow just like that and you can go over here to activate post effects and then you can select vignette you can make the resolution higher and there you have it ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching